What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today we're over Parsec PRQ, which is down 4.2% at 9.8 cents. This is a coin I'm holding for the remainder of the cycle. I did pick it up a little while ago, a little bit cheaper than it is now, but it's towards the same type of price. I like it because of the low market cap of only 18 million and the low circulating supply of 185 million. Also, its use case, all the data that it collects and the possible use case it has with AI. They did acquire their own AI business or um, operating system that they are going to use their Parsec blockchain alongside the AI system, which I think is going to be extremely bullish if AI starts picking back up. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on PRQ. Okay, everyone, let's get into PRQ. So PRQ has been on this downtrend since we touched 24 cents. We've been maintaining around that 9, 10 cents range right now. Without drawing any further right now, we're gonna look at the indicators first. Indicators right now are showing, let's go auto, are showing a bearish MACD about ready to flip bullish. So that is good. We are losing our bearish momentum heading towards a bullish crossover there. RSI is sitting at a decent size level as well, around 41. This does look like a decent bounce point for the RSI as well. WTX is below zero. So the four hour chart, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a decent bounce right here. Uh, adding to that, if we just ex if we just draw from here, connect that, connect this, you can see this is our downtrend support area. We rode on it a very long time in the beginning of January. We popped, we tested it, we popped, we tested it right now. So what I wouldn't be suggesting or looking for is a bounce from this point. Now, hypothetically, there's only two touch points here, but this is kind of what I want to be looking for for Parsec. So Parsec obviously isn't going to run until BTC absolutely rips because obviously we haven't been moving that much. So with that, we are in this falling triangle. So what I could be expecting here is another wick up to around 11, 12 cents. And this is more of a longer term prediction, 11, 7, 7 cents, consolidate. And then we see our big move when we had possibly dot below down to around 8.5. I don't care. I bought a bag. I'm holding it for the remainder of the bull run. In the longer term, you have to look at the longer term. It's going to be profitable, in my personal opinion. Uh, people are talking about pennies. Now we're at nine cents. People are like, oh, I'm going to buy it at eight cents. I want to buy it at 8.5 cents. If you zoom out and look at the larger picture, it's just a penny. It's just a penny. And in the longer term, it really won't make a difference unless you're buying thousands of dollars worth of it. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm not really batting an eye on it. I'm really not looking at it. I'm just letting it sit there and waiting until that bull run takes off and we make some money on it. So top to bottom right here, fib area, we did... This is the 236 area right here. Did we break below it? Let me zoom in. No, so we're actually above the 236, which is great. That's the support. You can see we wick to the bottom of that channel. So that is kind of looking like that reversal back to the top of this area at around 13.3. So I am going to be expecting a reversal for Parsec. I'm just thinking we're going to be continuing this. And until we break up to the upside, I mean, I, I know this thing's going to be doing really, really well in the bull run. So I'm really not worried about what it's doing in short term. That's why I haven't been making much videos on it. Uh, I think I uh, just have to be patient on this bad boy. Just be patient, be patient. Good things comes comes to those who wait. So short term right now, it looks like we bottomed out. We're working our way back up to 11 to 13 cents for par six. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or on my Twitter. The links are below in the description.